This episode, FightHype.com here with Russ Amber, the cut man of um, Vasily Lomachenko. How you doing tonight, man? I'm good, brother. I'm well. How are you? No complaints, man. Um, You know, after the fight, um, it seemed that a lot of people, I don't want to say a lot of people, but it seemed that a, a, a number of people um, may have thought that Jermaine did enough to eke out the win. What was your scorecard, man? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I think, although he was super valiant in his effort, you know, I'll give him full credit for that. Uh, he tried his ass off and he fought his ass off and, and he was in a situation you got to remember that everyone's expecting him not to win he was the underdog coming in you know and take it and he fought like he wanted to win and that's huge you know so win lose draw I mean sure you want to get the win but there's such a thing in boxing called a good loss he just he just stayed with the best fight one of the best fighters on the planet and stayed with him tooth and nail you know and I think that's something to be proud of he fought a hell of a fight I think Loma's touch rate was higher than than uh, than Jermaine's, and you know he was making he was making Jermaine miss a lot of punches, and then really after round eight is when Loma really kind of put the pedal to the metal, and you know he took off like Secretariat, you know, and pulled away. I think I think that was key in the fight. What what was your scorecards exactly, if you remember? I had a, well, all I said to John uh, uh, Loma's Loma's uh, lawyer. I said I said it's going to be one seventeen. I said so. I figured three. I said we got nine rounds i thought we won nine rounds gotcha was, was there anything that you saw in there in terms of maybe a little bit of ring rust because loma hasn't been in the ring since about i think it was november or december of last year did he look a little bit rusty to you i don't know if you call it ring rust i mean a guy who's that rusty can't be that accurate with his shots and put that kind of heat on a guy and put the pressure and take it to him i wouldn't say ring rust what I am seeing, though, is these guys are just so much bigger than Loma, you know? Whether it's Comey, Tiafimo Lopez, this guy, you know, like, they're all massive compared. You look at it, you think, guys are in the same weight class. Like, it just seems so much bigger. What, brother? You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Good. Congrats. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he's just so much, they're just so much bigger than him. And that's kind of like the what he has to do to get to be competitive because I think if he would have stayed in the smaller weight class I don't think there's anybody people wouldn't even come out to see his fights because he would be so dominant so in order to make it interesting he had to move up to bigger weight classes and now look at the size of the guys he has to fight you know obviously the, the next fight seems like it's going to be um, I Devin. hope so um, I hope so. Do you do you think Devin could be probably the, the toughest fight of Loma's career? Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, he's he's a world champion. I mean, it could definitely well be, you know. And stylistically, could be a could be a tough fight, you know. Uh, stylistically, could be a tough fight because Devin is so slick. He's hard to hit as well. You know, it's it's going to be like a chess match. Any thoughts about giving Ortiz a rematch? I know you said it's nine three. And typically, if you say nine three scorecard, that's almost like a blowout. But like you said, but it's not four, though so because the rounds are close. Like it's not nine three so easy. You know, you could you could say eight four even. You know, like the, the, his his lawyer had an eight four. So I mean, it's it's competitive. Just because it's nine three doesn't mean the nine rounds that he won wasn't competitive, hard fought round. He just had to fight a little bit harder than than Jermaine did. So uh, listen, Jermaine fought a hell of a fight, and I know his trainer. Very very well Rocky Gonzalez I know him very well bro they came prepared and they came to win you know and they gave it their best Loma's Loma man. that's what it is any any thoughts on a possible rematch or you guys want to well move that's forward? that's not me that's a I'm the cup man I wrap hands I'm not part of the business stuff on that uh, to me I think Loma wants his belts back that's what he wants gotcha thank you brother appreciate right. you man. appreciate it thank you